Hi everybody, it's Christina and I have some Halloween projects that I'm going to share with you. Um, I'll share that at the end of the video. Right now I want to make a Halloween card, so I am going to go through the process. I'll probably speed it up and add some fun music. I'm going to find some, maybe some Halloween music, I don't know. But um, the card base is from Recollections. This is that corrugated card set where you got the envelopes and this is the base. I'm going to use this. This is um, a digital print um, that I printed up on my computer and this print is by ilovedigis.com and I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to add some stitches before I glue that on. I'm going to use this. I got this is in my stash. I don't know what where this paper is from but it's pretty cool and I'm going to add that and I've got a few things here on my table. I think I'm going to put this really cool ribbon. Like, where did I get this? Oh, I got this at the dollar store. Um, so it's some craft ribbon. I'm going to add that. So I chose black thread and I, it's all zigzaggy and weird looking. I'm also going to distress it um, and ink it with black soot. I added a little ATG tape there. Um, so the card doesn't keep sliding out of the envelope, keeps it in place. And I'm going to leave enough space here so the card can open and close.
Alright, so this is my card insert. So that just goes in the back like that. And I just put the thankful tab here. Put some brown and brown um, baker's twine around it. Autumn. It says autumn, the year's last loveliest smile. And that's just going to slip in here like so. And then ah, that's it. Um, I glued this down with glossy accents so it kind of looks, I don't know, you know, Halloweenish. <laughs> um, and I love this. I can't believe. I have to get more. There was more colors at the dollar store. They had white, they had brown, they had beige. Um, for a dollar twenty-five, you sure get a lot. So hopefully it's still there when I go back. Sometimes I see something and um, I only buy one of them and think, oh, I should have got more, and then I go back, and there's none left. Added a little tag here. It says, Happy Fall, and use some of this linen thread. I love this linen thread. It is from Stampin' Up! And it comes like this. Um, and I like it. It ties really nice, and yeah. So that's the front, and then that was the inside. And Indy, oh, she got me. She was um, on the table here when I was putting these uh, bling embellishments down. And she hit this, and I kind of messed up with the glue there, but oh well. And then I made an envelope. Looks like that. Put one of these really cool big flowers on the front. A spider. And some Velcro there, and it fits just perfect. And I'll leave a tutorial. I've done a tutorial on how to make these envelopes. I'll leave a link here on the video, and you can go check it out. So there's my envelope for the card. And then I'll show you the rest of my projects that I made. So um, I don't even want to start with. I'll start with um, Halloween pocket letter. So this is the first one. Love the Halloween. I love Halloween colors. So here is a little charm I made. Um, oh, that's the person I made it for, so I better hide that. And number one, an initial, a little um, jar, or what are these things called? These little vials. Just got um, sequins in them. And then there are all the pockets. And that says we're a little baddie. <laughs> and this little kitty here, he um, I used some white gesso and made a little fence with little pieces of little sticks. And trick or treat and creepy boo. And a little treat for someone sweet. And the ghost here in the corner. Love this orange sequence I have. And a purple spider. And there's a little treat banner. And then I use some washi, Halloween washi on the side. And the back, well, I don't know, I haven't done, you know, maybe the back's not the greatest. Sometimes I like to finish the back up almost like the front. But I just put my favorites and the, you know, pocket letter was created for and by me. There's a gift card back here for Starbucks. There's some washi and some Halloween sequins and some stamps. And I made some Halloween hats. So that's, and I made um, an envelope. Well, no, kind of. It's going to go. Because I can't fold this, uh, because this witch here she goes over the two pockets so I can't fold it um, so I can I'm just gonna fold this side up and then I just took a, a paper bag and put some Halloween paper on the front and I'm just gonna slip that inside and put this tag on the front it's a stamp and I black use black embossing powder and it says I will be watching over you and I'm just going to take this huge pen or paper clip, and that's what I'll use to um, the em that's my envelope for my pocket letter. Then I made some Halloween tags, and I just added um, black seam binding, and I used my 
all different kinds of sprays and made different orange colors. This is really pretty ribbon from Stampin' Up. I love it. Uh, and then these are my tags. It says enter if you dare and beware. And, and there is my favorite monster, the Weird Gathering. And all these tags, I just ink them up with all um, Lindy's Stamp Gang inks. I used the Ranger inks. I used all kinds of inks. Just sort of using Halloween colors, right? Um, and this one is the Haunt Like Bingo card. And there's a bat there and some sequins. A haunting we will go. And this side, um, I just stamped. I have this Halloween stamp here with the tree and the owl. And then added, cut out different sayings. And there's a key down there. And this eat, drink, be scary. Boo. And there is. So there's a, there's the tree, right? There's a hole in the tree. And you can see the little eyes there poking out. And this little squirrel, he looks really scared. And this squirrel is holding up a bucket. And all the eyes are sticking out. Two eyes that shine. I want candy. <laughs> and this tag says, there's the witch. Happy Halloween. And this one is the back. All right, so that's the tag. All right, so this is the second Halloween pocket letter I made. First pocket says, thankful apple pie falling leaves. And there's an owl. All these little cute embellishments are ephemera. Um, this is at Kane Company. I got these all at um, the dollar store. So cute. And this little witch. So cute. Uh, so I just added some bling, trick or treat, spider. I added this cute little saying. I found that on Pinterest. There's a shaker pocket with all Halloween sequins and a little sign that says Happy Halloween and some ghosts and an orange spider. Treats, yummy, trick or treat. And then this the last two pockets is just one big card. So cute. There's some some pretty um, a seam binding there. A little owl hanging down. And that's the back. Some sequence. Give thanks. Washi tea. Uh, there is a Starbucks gift card in there. A stamp. There's my letter and some Halloween cutouts and some more Halloween cutouts. And then uh, I made the envelope to put the pocket letter in. Um, so I made this one here. And then I took that stamp. Same one here. And this is black embossing powder and this is white embossing powder. And I'm just going to put that on the front. Uh, oh, what else did I make? All right, so then I made some goodie bags. And there are just some, I forget what I put in here. I think I've got some, you know, crafty supplies, kind of Halloween related. And I like um, these bags. I got them at the dollar store. They come in white and brown. They're four and a half by seven. Um, and they just, yeah, I bought a whole bunch of these and they're just great for, you know, if you want to put together a goodie bag and decorate them. So I made a couple of those. And by the way, I'm doing happy mail. So I, um, I'm finished everything and now I can pack everything up and mail stuff. So, okay, then, 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 then. What else did I make? Oh yeah, these! I picked up these little ba um, bags. I don't know where, Michael's or the dollar store. And I uh, just decorated the front and it's got candy inside. So I made a couple of those and I'm just going to put it in one of these Halloween bags here that I picked up. And I'm just going to stick it in here. 
Okay, and then lastly, I made another Halloween card. I can't remember if I've showed this or not. I don't think I have. So I used brown cardstock for my base and then some paper in the background. Love this stuff, this cheesecloth, trick or treat. And there is, oh, I like this spider web uh, die. I don't have it. Um, I just had the, a couple of the die cuts. I've got to get myself a Halloween die. I love that. And the kitty cat. Um, you know how I made that kitty cat? I used a couple of punches. These are just brand new punches that I bought from Stampin' Up. Is the owl punch and the fox punch. So I used, let's see, what did I do? What did I do? Oh yeah, so I used this part for the head. And for the body, I used the bottom part. And then this for the tail. So kind of cute. And on the inside, looks like that. And then I made an envelope. It says trick or treat, a bow on the front, a bat, happy haunted Halloween. And then that fits in there. Ta -da! I think that's it. Yeah. So yay. I'm so happy. I'm totally done here. I can box this up go to the post office and I can continue on making other projects. I've been really wanting to work in my uh, uh, my Webster's pages, my planner, my daily planner, but I've been too busy. So everyone, thanks so much for watching. I love you all. I hope you're having a fantastic week or weekend and we'll all see you soon. Bye everybody.